I'm Greg Endress, NDSU Extension Service Area Agronomist based at the Carrington Research Extension Center. I'd like to highlight a corn study where we examine three different factors. The first is response of corn to tillage systems. The second is response of corn to starter fertilizer placement. And the third is a response to row spacing. The first factor in the study was comparison of three tillage systems. The first was conventional till, where the amount of small grain residue was less than 30%, and oftentimes 10% or less. The second tillage system was direct seeded, where corn was planted directly into the, the standing small grain stubble. The third system was strip till, where in the fall uh, strips were, were made and then the following spring corn is planted into those strips as is pictured. This graph shows the, the average yield across the five site years that the study was conducted comparing the tillage systems. Uh, the work was conducted in 2007 through 2010 and again this past season in 2012. As you can see Average across the, the years, a very similar response of the corn to all three of the tillage systems. Next, I'd like to talk about the impact of placement of starter fertilizer for corn. In general, NDSU's recommendations are to have a goal of, of having high testing soil for both phosphorus and potassium. We recommend applying a starter as a band within two inches of the seed to provide an opportunity for the plant to get an early season growth. Our standard recommendation would be to apply the fertilizer uh, within two inches such as a two by two inch band and we expect a corn response to be greater versus an uh, inferral application of the starter and, uh, and have a greater impact versus not using a starter fertilizer at all. Also, corn responds to zinc, and if your soil test is less than one part per million, we would recommend applying some starter zinc. In the study, we had four basic fertilizer placement methods. Uh, they included untreated check, and then fall deep banded 1034-0, placed at the time that we fall strip healed, and then uh, another treatment was placing 1034-0 in furrow as well as a 2 by 0 band which would be 2 inches horizontally from where the seed was placed. Also note the phosphorus soil test as listed on the, the bottom of the graph and also the rate of 1034-0 which range anywhere from 5 to 12 gallons per acre based on the, the soil test and, and fertilizer application methods. So average across the four site years, which included 2008 through 2010 and 2012, we did see a trend for a yield response with the 2 by 0 band and the fall deep band as compared to the untreated check. The inferral application was, was actually slightly less than untreated check and probably due to, to stand loss because of, of the fertilizer placement directly with the seed. The third factor in this corn study was the response of corn to 22 inch rows versus 30 inch rows. The study was started just this past season in 2012, so only have one site year of data. The data is encouraging, showing that the narrow rows, the 22 inch, did provide a 5% yield increase compared to the standard 30 inch row spacing. In summary, the corn response to tilly systems was very similar across the five site years. Uh, this may have been due to uh, well-drained loam soil, uh, timely planting of corn but not planting early, and also uh, planting into residue that was modest, small grain residue for example as compared to corn residue. With the starter fertilizer placement averaged across four site years, we see a trend toward having better yield with a 2 by 0 band and that being similar to the fall deep band and both greater than the inferral starter fertilizer application. And finally, with very limited data, just one site years, we have seen a yield advantage with having narrower rows, in this case 22 inch, versus the standard 30 inch rows and the advantage so far was about 5%. The study will be continued in 2013 where we will continue to examine the response of corn to the starter fertilizer placement as well as the roll spacing.